Hi, in my last video, I've talked about how to use a fiber optic cable to connect an IP camera. Why we need fiber optic cable? Even so, you already have the Catfire K6 Ethernet cable, which is so convenient. You can use the PoE to send both power and data by using the Catfire K6 Ethernet cable. The reason is because the fiber optic cable can achieve usual long distance with fast speed. We can have up to 5,000 feet fiber optic cable running with 1,000 megabyte per second bandwidth. You can reference my another video how easy we can use the fiber optic cable to connect the camera to the network switch. But you see, it's a little bit wasting if you just use 1,000 megabyte per second bandwidth for one IP camera. One IP camera may just need 10 megabyte per second. That means we have a lot of bandwidth wasting. Especially if we have used such long run from the edge to the center. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use one fiber optic cable to carry multiple IP devices. After all, we may need, we can even put up to 60 IP cameras into just one fiber optic cable because the bandwidth is 1000 megabyte per second. Okay, first let's recap what we have done in the last video. This is the PoE switch we used in the last video. We got a PoE port and we got two SAP slot. Like I mentioned in the last video, we cannot connect fiber optic cable directly to this k 5 rj 45 network port. It need to have this media converter working with this SAP transceiver. These two SAP slot is just like the media converter. Working with this SAP transceiver, it will convert the fiber optical signal to electrical signal. So we can connect the fiber optic cable to this SAP transceiver and plug the SAP transceiver to this SAP slot. So if you need to work with the fiber optic cable on your PoE switch, you need to make sure your switch has the SAP slot. Then you also need to order this SAP transceiver. This SAP transceiver determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode, multi mode, and what kind of connector you can use, LC or SC. And you, you may work I wonder why we just need single fiber optical stride. Usually we need to have two, right? One for receiving, one for transmitting. We just need to use one because this is the BIDI transceiver. It uses different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data. So we just need one fiber optical stride. It's very easy to set up. And on the, at the edge, we also use this outdoor type media converter. It supports PoE and we will connect the, we have connected the uh, this fiber optic cable to this media converter. All right, in this video, I'm not going to, I will remove this media converter because it only can handle one IP camera or access point. So I will bring up this outdoor PoE switch. This is outdoor PoE switch. We have totally four SAP slot. That means we also can connect multiple SAP fiber optic cable to this outdoor PoE switch. And here we have some PoE port. The power source is being built in. All right, now let me just connect this outdoor PoE switch to a AC power outlet. Like I mentioned, we cannot use, we cannot send the power through the fiber optic cable. The answer is, the reason is quite easy to understand because this is basically plastic. There's no way we can inject the power into the fiber optic cable. So the power source needs to be available at the edge. All right, let me just pick one of the SAP slot and insert the SAP transceiver. All right, it's very important to pick the right cable. A must be phase to eight. Okay, now let me just connect the cable to the SAP transceiver. All right, I still need short punch code to link the one of the PoE port to the camera. Let's just pick one more of the port. Okay, now we can see the indicators on. That means the outdoor PoE switch is applying the power and data with the camera. If I need to connect this outdoor access point, what I need to do is just pick another short punch code. Just another short punch code and link second port, PoE port, 
to this outdoor access point, then it will provide the Ethernet Wi-Fi coverage at the edge. It's quite easy, right? The distance between the outdoor switch and the inside code switch, it could be usual long distance up to one, one ten, I think 10,000 feet will be fine. And the bandwidth, like what I mentioned, it will be 100 megabyte per second. Let's see, okay, now the camera's live now. It's quite easier. And here we are using the pre-made fiber optic cable, so there's no need to make the connector. It's simply just plug and play. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.